welcome to the May card class. I am here. Hopefully you will be here soon. And I'll have a chance to explain my getup today. <laughs> I am in my Creative Memories construction hat today. Um, you know, because I'm working. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Tamara. New state in the house. I mean, for card classes. So thanks for joining us, Tamara. <coughs> she is um, tuning in from CT, the state I was born in. So welcome, welcome. Hey, Gina. All right. So the last time I wore this hat was at a Creative Memories convention a long time ago. Hey, Kim, I think you have one of these hats. <laughs> um, and this coming weekend, I have my retreat to the lake in Lakeland. But the weekend after that, I will be in Minneapolis um, for um, the first Creative Memories convention in a long, long time. It was supposed to be in 2020, and of course, that got delayed. So now 2021. But the reason for my um, for my uh, get up is a, is twofold. Um, I had a little procedure this morning at Twin Lakes, and um, I probably should not have told the anesthesiologist that I woke up at the end of my last procedure, and um, so he made sure that I was good and, and juiced. So um, I was afraid to try to put on any makeup. I poke my eye out. But this is also the reason why I had to flip flop the card class and the Cricket Joy. Because could you imagine me trying to do all those different cameras and Cricket Joy last week? Could you imagine doing that this week? Um, just a few hours post-op. So <laughs> that would have been really fun. So if I, um, you know, if you can't hear me, which, you know, that sometimes happens. So when I switch cameras, I'm going to go like this or like this, and you may or may not be able to hear me. So just let me know if you can hear me. So I've got the sunglasses on because no makeup today. I did get some, some of my jewelry on, um, to try to coordinate with our card kits. I'm very excited about these card kits. Um, so just a couple quick reminders. If you are um, a Ruby or above in my rainbow recognition program, which means you've attended five or more retreats, um, you got an email last week with a special retreat announcement. Um, don't comment about it here. Just make sure that if you didn't read it and you're on tonight, that you go back and look for that email from last week for the rainbow recognition. Then um, on Friday, I posted on my Facebook about the secret boxes. There's two options this time, a premium and an essential. All of the items in the essential are in the premium. So there's just some more stuff. It says two more pieces of the coordinating whatever. So if you like all the stuff from like a collection and this is all new, limited, you know, exclusive for the secret boxes, then you'll want to spring from the pre for the premium. Now, I there's a link on my Facebook page that takes you right to my personal website, not the Creative Memories website to purchase. Um, I will, I am offering free shipping to anyone who purchased those through that link. So obviously there's no way for me to give you free shipping if you purchase through my Creative Memories website. Unfortunately, that isn't a promo that Creative Memories has going on right now. And that's not something that I can, you know, pass on through the website. But if you purchase it through my website and basically you're just paying for the box and tax, I will either bring it um, deliver it to you at Vol um, not Volano. We're not going to Volano. See, this is this is the medicine. Um, L Lakeland. I will because I got permission from Lakeland to have boxes shipped straight there. So I am paying for two day shipping. 
and well, it will be stripped straight. Well, no, it's not that kind of, not that kind of retreat. It will be shipped straight to Lakeland. And so if you are going to Lakeland and you purchase a box through my personal website, the link is on my Facebook page. Um, it's going to get shipped straight to Lakeland and you will have it there. If you are not in Lakeland and because I'm going to Minneapolis next Thursday, then I will likely have it dry. And if I don't feel like I can run to your house, if you're not close enough for me to run to your house on Monday or Tuesday, because I'm flying out of town on Thursday, then I will just direct ship. Um, I will direct ship your secret box straight to you. No charge to you. Um, I feel like they're prioritizing these because they said in the email that you have it for the worldwide crop and the opening, which is next weekend, the 10th, and I'll be in Minneapolis. But if you order through my website, um, then um, you will be, I, when I get back from Minneapolis, we will have a class where we'll make a couple two-page spreads from the what's ever in the box. And I don't know what it is, but I'll be in Minneapolis and I'll have a box with me and I will make a class with ha handouts. And we will do that Tuesday night when I get back. So next Tuesday, we will have a project recipe or we'll make a two page spread. Then we'll have a, an hour break. And then those of you that purchase the secret box can come to this class. Now that class will not be recorded and it won't be on Facebook live. It'll be in zoom. So you want to set aside that time if you care to join in the class. I will send you the handouts so that if you can't make the class, you can do that. Um, for those of you just joining on, um, thank you for liking, not this, liking and sharing. And the reason I'm in this getup is because I have zero makeup on. I had a small procedure done today at Twin Lakes. So I, the anesthesiologist kind of juiced me up good. So um, so there's no telling what type of hot mess express is in store for us tonight. Um, and I've got this hat because I wore this last at a Creative Memories convention in Minneapolis and I'm headed there next week. So the little cough that you hear, that's from the anesthesia. I promise I'm not sick, I'm all good. I went in there with no cough came out with a cough. So uh, just a couple other quick things. I just talked extensively about, oh, see, there I go, trying to use a mouse that isn't connected again. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read here. Okay, I did talk extensively about the Creative Memories um, secret box situation that's going on. You can order it um, through my Creative Memories website, but then you won't get free shipping. So if you order it through my personal website, and I said that, you can go to Daytona area scrapbooking.com um, and that'll take you right to my calendar page. But then because it's in June, um, our, my class, you have to go to June 14th. And because we already have, oh, it's not next week. It's not Project Recipe. It's Tool Time with Tara. Because there's already a, an event scheduled at five that day, you have to look at the second event. The easiest way to get to that link is just to go on Facebook and go there. Now, in addition to the secret boxes, there's a whole new collection that just came out today at 1 p.m. That's the Showtime collection. So if you're a fan of these deep colors or um, if you've got someone in the arts uh, movie, I love how, because we're in the 20s, right? There's a lot of roaring 20s parties going on. And I so I love the champagne glass new punch. Love it. It's a single punch, not a border maker crunch punch, but I love this new uh, double fan, Border Maker Cartridge, um, because to me that's very Art Deco and it will look fun with everyone's flapper dresses. And I think I, I don't know, I might have mentioned, I don't know where I would have mentioned this in my own head, um, that I've been to, I've had to dress up Roaring Twenties twice already um, in this decade. 
So that is going to come in handy. And then, of course, the rubber ducky. And then, I mean, I guess Creative Memories is reading Wanda's mind because she was just has been lamenting the last two times I've seen her about them not having these. Then I found in my old stash three brand new packages and said, look what I found. You can have them. And then, whoops, Creative Memories comes out with them. So. All right. Two other just quick announcements before we get rolling. And that is, if you're going to the retreat in Lakeland, I sent out an email last night. So make sure you get that. There's only seven bullet points at the top. I've been told my emails are too long and that's why people don't read them. So there's seven bullet points at the top with strategic highlighted areas. So please just read those seven bullet points and make sure all of your scrappy friends read that too. There is a link about choosing the border punches that I'm bringing, and this will be standard going forward for my retreats because I have 90, over 90 border maker punches, not the cartridges, not the little ones. I'll bring all of those. I have uh, like 80 of those, but of the bigger ones that are so heavy and the punches, regular freestanding punches, I have over 90 of those. So I've made a Google form with pictures of all of them. You just select the ones you want me to bring. Um, if you uh, select all of them, I would love to see all the pages you make this weekend featuring all those punches. <laughs> Just kidding. There will not be a test. I will not make you show me all of the pages you've created, but for real, um, uh, they're, they're so heavy. And with the cost of gas, <laughs> like I'm going to require an extra tank of gas to get to a Lakeland if I bring all my punches. I'm just kidding, sort of. All right, let's time. It's time to make. It's time to make um, cards. And um, when I'm not on screen, then I can get out of this darn hat and glasses. All right, thanks for sticking with me. Um, don't forget to like and share, and um, remind your scrappy friends that have purchased the card kit that it is on and now. All right, let's yeah, see how goes. this goes. I switched back to wait. There's probably an echo. Is that better? Are we good? Can you hear me? Whoops. Can you hear me? Yes. No. I can't do this. Yes. No. Can you hear me? Um, I will be giving away $10 off your next order. Some of you have a couple of those stacked up. So if you're coming to Lakeland, I will remind you when I see you. Okay, good. Yay. Everyone hears me. Um... I am back to the autofocusing camera uh, for tonight. Rumor has it I can use my Nikon, but um, my Nikon DSLR. But that is going to uh, require more brain power than I've had this past weekend and today. All right. So <coughs> you should have, I'm going to get a drink. You should have a kit that looks like this. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, Dottie. It's still up on my website. If you if you do want them and if you want to watch and you decide you want them, I do have a couple kits left. This kit is really fun because in addition to this kit, you should also have one of these little distress archival ink called Spice Marmalade. Um... So if you if you want to order it, Dottie, you, you know how to do that. You can go to my website. And as a reminder, you can click on go to the main page of my website and you can click on card classes. And there's a link there to to join the subscription. So that way you um, you never miss out on a card kit. All right. So these are my samples. I'm going to set them aside. You should have a, a small pair of scissors, some precision point adhesive. Um, hopefully you grabbed some tape and we can get right into these. If you still would like a secret box, I don't know. I don't think I said this earlier. 
and you um specifically if you are coming to lakeland let order on my personal website daytona area scrapbooking.com or use the link on facebook by 10 p.m tonight um so that i can make sure that it gets to um so it gets to you uh gets to lakeland by this weekend i know kim i'm so excited too well i'll i'm going with trish i'll let you know how this year goes and then everyone's got to come next year all right so i'm gonna set aside my little pack of um my little Oh, yay. Jacqueline, that's great. Um, my little pack of sequins. Okay, yeah, this is where I'm going to need the community to help me with words. Um, and you've got some blue dots. So we're going to pick off the first little stack of items for the first card. And um, let me grab my, let me grab my sample. So this is what um, our card is going to say. Just felt like sending you a hug today and there's nothing, there's nothing going on inside. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and fold your base. Wait, let's put this somewhere where you can see it. All right. Now, this one, don't cut anything yet before we proceed. This is, this is really important. This background is cut to have just a thin reveal. So that little hole is going to get covered. So you're not going to be on uh, know about this little situation here. So when you cut this out, we're going to trim this out without cutting through this thin little piece. Does that make sense? So we need to leave that attached because that is part of our do not cut through here. We're going to leave we're going to leave this attached. You're going to take your small scissors and you're just going to trim trim that out. And it's okay if it's not like rounded. Mine are flat because they're going to be going on, you know, on a on a flat piece of paper. Now, you could play around with this card. Those of you off-roaders, those of you with four-by-four four card making skills, and maybe you want to leave it attached and put this paper underneath. But I'm going to make it the way I designed it. And you see how that spot is covered up. And no one is the wiser unless they've watched this video and received this card from you. All right, so we're going to go ahead... I should also mention real quick, sorry, lots of um, Lakeland announcements. I'm going to send out another email after um, tonight because um, Crystal um, made some awesome cups. Um, and for the retreat and you can, um, you can, just tell us that you want one. You don't have to order it or prepay for it. Just tell us that you want one and she will make one and bring it this weekend. I had her do a, a smaller version. So they're 20 ounce. So they're not big, huge ones. All right. So we just, um, we just layered that up green glitter on the bottom, that green shimmer paper CM. So is this, this is from the fresh focus. Now it's not available to purchase. But many of you have received it from me. I did a bunch of giveaways. So this piece is going to go here. And then our little circles are going to go there. And then our flower and our pearl are going to go here. But we are going to do the chalking first. Now I'm going to tell you how I chalk. There's lots of different techniques. Um, there's actually a little wooden handle that you can purchase for these little foam thingamabobbers. Um, but I prefer to just turn it into a little taco 
maybe it's because I like tacos and because it's Taco Tuesday. I don't know. But I like to turn it into a little taco. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Now, the bigger angle you have, the more coverage you're going to get with your color. And what I'm talking about is this orange. It's kind of hard to see. But there's a, an orange edge on this white paper. Hopefully you can see it. It really helps. It almost adds another layer. You know, like we have this little green layer and then we have two layers of paper um, without actually adding another layer of paper. So be careful. Don't fumble this. If you fumble the ink and you get ink on you, you're going to want to wash it off. Maybe grab a, if you're a messy person like me, maybe grab a paper towel just in case you don't end up with orange ink everywhere. So I kind of turn it into a taco and dab into it. And you can kind of experiment going straight up and down. will just give you like a really, um, a little, a really thin edge. And then if you come more of like an angle, you're going to get more orange on the paper. Now, um, I like to start in a corner and kind of go wide. And then I kind of go thin to, toward the middle. And then I kind of go wide at the, at the corner and then like rotate my hand so it goes thin. The thing is, don't be afraid of the chalking ink. It does take practice. Um, but no one's going to know what mine looks like or unless we send them all to the same person. No one's going to compare your card which I think I mentioned before, and my mom, she was catching up on card kits, so she heard me mention in a card class that her and I both sent my cousin the exact um, <laughs> the exact same birthday card. I mean, what are the odds, right? We do at least one birthday card a month, and of all of our kits, my mom and I picked the exact same one. So I decided to send you all this, and I think I mentioned that last week, to include this. I've been on the hunt for like a tiny version of these to purchase in bulk because doing this when I do this for you all in car kits adds <coughs> adds hours to my card kit production really and truly it takes a long time to do that so I decided to send that to you and of course I didn't pre-do mine because I want to make sure that you have time to do it now so um so the, the light, it's a little hard to pick up. It is orange all the way around. And hopefully you're having fun with doing, um, inking these edges. So we will do that on almost every card in this. And so it's just fun for you to have, um, to have this little ink pad because you, We'll hopefully find other occasions to use it. So this year, um, in the coming months, you will see you'll see more of these again, because unfortunately for me, the only way of me to get them in bulk was to buy four packs of them. So I say unfortunately because that was I had to lay out a chunk of change for all that. But you are worth it, and I really appreciate you. Um, making the cards with me. So once you get that edge inked and hopefully you're having fun doing it, I think next month, I think everyone's getting pink. Oh, that's funny, Lori. See, it's, I guess it happens. It's really funny when it's like not even one you've homemade because I know you guys make your, you know, you make cards too. But when, um, when it's like a Hallmark card, which in this case, it was homemade cards that my mom and I did. But I feel like family members, my family members have also purchased the same card. So I just added using my precision point adhesive on the back of this on the back of these circles, I just <clears throat> added that to the card.
And then the next thing we're going to do is add our flower. Now I'm going to stick it down. I'm just kind of bending it, bending it up a little bit to give it a little life. So it kind of pops up off the page, uh, off the card a little bit. And I'm going to stick that down here in the corner. And then out of my little bag, I am going to take this pearl and stick that there. I'm going to stick the pearl on using one of these glue dots that I sent you. And whoops, be careful. When I pulled out my little pearl, a sequin was stuck to the bottom side. So I'm going to put on my glue dot. These glue dots um, are just so sticky. They're really great for holding on these big, these big type baubles. And now the rest, the only thing we have left to do is to add the little magenta sequins um, into the little holes. And so I'm just going to dump out all of my little card accoutrement and you most definitely should have six you may have extra some of these little sequins stick together you should have light pink green and um the magenta and you will use the other ones on the other card and of course you blingy types may want to use bling. Now I'm going to preload the centers of these circles with this sequence. And of course I forgot my little jewel placing tool. Um, I got to grab it. Hold please. You can add these on to your order if you don't have one already. Uh, um, and I like, I place the sequins on like a bowl because that way that bottom part will sit onto the adhesive. If you put it the other way, then the adhesive really doesn't have a place to, to grab onto. My, I grabbed both my precision point adhesive because one of them is running low. Oh, Lori, yeah, I'm surprised that you don't have one. These are these are great. These are great tools, and I can I can ship one with your next with your next card kit if you like. So that one is done. I'll move off my original sample to one side. And then as you all finish, um, you can just uh, let me know. I know it's hard to, um, <clears throat> I know it's hard to, you know, work and comment. Let's see. And this will be our next, our next card. And just let me know when you're when you're done, is everyone still chalking or you're still playing with sequins? While y'all are working, I'm gonna check our giveaway tool and make sure 
that the entries are coming in and it looks like they are, which is great. That means I can do one giveaway live. All right, we got one done. One year when I was uh, transporting kids for cross country camp, and I, those of you that have known me for a while know that we do lots of family road trips, but one of the girls that I was uh, driving in my car for cross country camp said that in their family, they have a rule that it takes three to pee. And if there's three bladders that need to go, they stop. So, um, so maybe, maybe I have to I do that for, for card, for card class and say, well, we'll wait for three of y'all to be done and then we'll move on. Actually, some of you I know like to just watch and make your cards later with the video. So there might not be that many of you actually making the cards with me tonight. All right. And it, that was fun, Lori, that, you, um, that you're joining us this month. Um, I mentioned when Tamara got on, she's a, she, we added a new state to the list. So Tamara's joining from Connecticut. And those of you that know Lori know that she's joining from Maryland. So um, we, I also sent card kits to um, Texas, South Carolina, and California. Um, I don't think I'm missing anyone, any state. All right, well, let's move on to the smile. It's your birthday. I'm gonna move this sample off to the side and move that one up into the hot spot. Oh, goody. I'm so glad you got to join, Lori. I know it's hard at the five. Oh, wow, well, welcome, Deborah. Thank you. My daughter spent <coughs> a month in Australia. She um, loved her time there for sure. She was on the Gold Coast doing surf life saving stuff, which most people in the U.S. just need a quick little education on what that is when I tell them that. But most people in Australia do not need to me to say anything more. They know exactly what that means. Um, all right. So with this one, you do have some options as far as folding. Now I use the new... Flourish Vine Border Maker cartridge on this uh, on this one. Oh, I should mention that this one is the Circle Border Maker Punch, um, also out new in 2022. So that this one is a Border Maker Punch, and you noticed if I if you remember back, I punched into the middle of the page to get this effect. Um, I did that without the guide. Yes, it is, Deborah. She thankfully took lots of beautiful pictures. Um, all righty. So with this one, you can fold it either way. I've done it this way. It is scored for you. So if it's not that obvious, go ahead and feel for the score so that you get a nice fold. Now, I did teach this technique in a past tool time with Tara about the little fold over and how nice it is when you are using... Um, double dipped paper because you just, you get this, you get this nice look. We are gonna chalk the orange around this whole circle. And I cut this using the custom cutting system. And then we're gonna add our smile on here. I've got some little Harry's here. And you notice I went bigger with the smile between my sample and the finished product. And then we're gonna add our three green little sequins kind of around. So I'm, the first thing I'm gonna do is just add this background part. I'm not gonna tape down the flourish vine part. I just wanna get that on there centered. Um, and the reason I'm not is because it's going to fold over. And so I want you to be able to place this exactly how you want it. Mine is kind of down from center. And so I'm going to do my chalk first, try not to fumble it and get 
orange everywhere. Fold my little taco, put my little finger inside the taco, and then go around. Now, on my sample, well, you can see it. I did go heavy on that orange around, and there's heavy as in dark, and there's heavy as in uh, width. Remember, the more flat you go, the, the further coverage you get on your piece of paper. The more up and down you go, it's kind of like playing a, well, I've never played the violin or the cello, but I've seen people play. And I know you get different notes as far as like up and down and flat. So if any of you out there play string instruments, is this the anesthesia talking? Now I'm getting all deep. The, your, your talking is akin to playing a string instrument. <laughs> but it's true. You do get different. You do get a totally different look, i.e. sound, whether you're straight up and down or more flat. Okay, so I have covered this really well. Again, my light is so hot. There, that's better. You can see um, that I've, I've really gone full coverage. All right. Then once you decide on your placement of it, you can stick your circle... Oh, you know what else I did that I did not do? On my sample, you, can, you can't see it. I also did the edge of this card because it has the orange. I didn't do that on the other one, but you can definitely go back and, and, and do the edges um, with, you know, of the card if you want. You'll, you'll find, once you, once you feel comfortable doing it, um, I think you'll find you're, you're, you're going to have a lot of fun using the ink. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Uh, that's hilarious. Thank you so much, Frida. <clears throat> All right. And... So then once you decide where you want this smile to go, and I, like I said, I, I did go bigger than my sample. So you can kind of play with how, how you want it to go, how you want it to interact with this um, flourish vine. So I think I'm gonna tuck an edge, this bottom edge kind of under and then go over and all right and once you position that where you want it you can just add your sequins now I picked up of course let me put that one a little further away I picked up the one that is not functioning and I kind of am doing a triangle like three three of them on there and again your sequins like a little bowl you've got a concave and a convex side like a little contact lens and so you want the bottom of the bowl to sit on the adhesive and the nice thing about the sequins I used them last month too. You're going to see them again. Just, I like to expose you to just, I don't know, new, new fun things that maybe you've used in the past or haven't, you know, haven't ever used on a card. The nice thing about the sequins is they are like a little shimmery. They're not as thick um, as a, as you know, your standard bling. Um, and they're also very light. So they're easy to, um, they're easy to use. And that 
is it. And if you have the card kit and maybe you're jumping on late, just jump in wherever we are um, because you can you can um, finish with us and then you can start over as soon as it's over and, and do the ones that you missed. And if this is your first time with us, and there are a couple of you, this is your first time, you've noticed that I just take um, one card a stack, a stack for a whole card. It starts with your um, your base, your card base, and then you can just pull the whole pull the whole stack off. And just let me know when y'all are ready to move on, and I will think of something to tell you. Mm -hmm. The rubber ducky punch. I'm very excited for that. I um, I went straight out to Amazon to buy like little rubber duckies <laughs> um, because I know it's a it's a thing. Oh, sorry, Gina. It is that type of year. Ugh, that type of year. It's that type of year and that time of year. Goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, Deb. That's okay. Hop, hop on. We're about to start the third card. So just jump on in with the third card. It's going to be this one. And you, you, you still got, we still got plenty to do. Um, I don't know. Rubber duckies are, rubber duckies are, are in right now. Yes. Yep. It's a print and cut. But it's, um, it is, it, it is from the fresh, the Creative Memories. Oh, well, fun, Deborah. Yeah. If you've got these border maker cartridges, you can have fun with them on your cards. Exactly, Stacy. Well, my mom and niece, they did a thing in Greenville, South Carolina, um, where they like released a bunch of uh, ducks into the the Reedy Creek. I, I don't know. I have to go back and look. I don't know what they were doing with all these little rubber duckies. Um, so I pulled off the next stack for the next card. And this one, Deborah, I don't know if you have this one. This is the, um, the Infinity Heart Border Punch. So this is a big, not a border maker cartridge, but this is a big, a big punch. And I just love it. Um, my mom specifically requested an anniversary card. And so this one, this is why you have this. <laughs> These are different sentiments that you can cut out and you can ink if you want um, and add to the inside. You can um, mat it with some paper if you want um, or just, you know, stick it inside. But this one, I went ahead and did congratulations because I thought this one really could be a wedding. Well, darn it, now that we have the... Um, the champagne glasses coming out this month. I'll definitely do a wedding, um, a cheers type card coming up. So you could do happy anniversary, congratulations. I mean, really, this could be anything. But um, this one, also the last card we're going to do tonight, um, you'll see could be kind of, it could be a happy birthday or a thank you. So I really thought, one of these two could be for this card and one of these two, these two could be for the last card. Um, but this, this card is very simple, straightforward. We're just going to fold our base. We're going to add, this is the copper um, shimmer paper from CM. Hard to see the shimmer on the T on the, 
camera, but those of you that have kits, you're holding it in your hand right now. <laughs> so you can see how beautiful and shimmery it is. It's kind of a, a dark, I mean, it's, it's listed as bronze on our website. I think it definitely hints it's kind of goldy bronze. So obviously you have a choice as far as what side you want to use. Um, I, I feel like um, this one, the reason why I picked this for maybe a, um, I, I love the words behind here. They say like joy, memories, love, smile, thankful, blessed, together, happy, love. So they're, 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 they're nice words. Oh, well, I'm so glad that you hopped on, Deborah. All right, so we've got our infinity heart to put down, and then these are our last little sequins to add. We've got our five little pink sequins, and I just alternated them. You see how I did there? Um, and again, those of you with blingity bling on your own may want to add some bling or swap out the sequins for bling. Um, I'm using my repositionable tape to do this and so that I could just run right down the whole thing and I'm putting this on the edge so that you can really see these words. Um, and as you can tell I didn't there I didn't add it's just it's just the hearts and the sequins. And now I'm just going to kind of alternate. And again, I like to preload my adhesive. And stick these on. I kind of went close with my adhesive. The nice thing is you can kind of use the sequin if you do that to kind of drag it. This is a little jewel placer, Deb. And um, I it is, um, I can I can definitely send it. Oh wow, Gina, that's that's exciting. Uh, next time I see you, I usually carry them with me to crops and stuff, but I can definitely ship one if you're interested. They're just $5 and they've got this little tacky end to pick up jewels and sequins. And then they've got this little metal end, which is good for poking out, uh, die cuts or just kind of moving things or moving things around on your page. So... Yes, I will, Jackie. I will bring you one for sure. Safe travels. Oh, yes. I will see you this weekend, Deb. So I will bring you one for sure. And now that card is done. And we are moving right along. And our next card is going to be this one. So just let me know. This one was pretty straightforward and easy. Didn't have any chalking. This next one, I didn't chalk anything either. But again, when it's kind of this white print on white paper, um, you know, it is nice to add a little pop of color. If you're okay, there's no orange going on in this layout. So if you're okay with or um, with, you know, with using the orange, you can, you can certainly do that. Um, or you might have some of these that you've never really used or gotten into using or unsure how to use them, or you're too afraid to use them, or you've only used them for stamps. And now you've found another, you know, another way to use them. I'll leave this one up here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out the next layer. Oh, 
Alrighty. Oh, good. Tamara's done. Now this one, we'll have, we'll have some dimensionals. You should have some dimensionals in your stack and some uh, little leaves, a little sentiment that says, because you're in it. That obviously goes with the life is good. So you could put that on the inside. You could just omit it. You could just, you could just leave the life is good. I always, I feel like I have to explain my car. I mean, does that make sense? I don't know. I, I felt like I needed to add uh, to the life is good. Um, and then add the, because, because you're in it. Um, and I will take my personal trimmer and kind of trim off some of this. And so if you find that it's too wide for your liking, um, you can trim that. If you don't trust yourself with a personal trimmer, you just want to leave it the way it is because you're afraid you're going to cut it crooked. I totally respect that as well. But um, I love the, per I mean, you know how much I love my 12 inch trimmer for sure. But for cutting photos and for cutting these like teeny tiny little pieces like this, the fact that you can hold it in place with this little bar um, and it won't shift on you. I just love that. Sorry, we're a little zoomy. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most challenging um, card because it has a ribbon. And we're going to use the other two of our... Uh, glue dots that are on here to attach the ribbon. That is most definitely the best way to attach ribbon. Now, these are set up so that you can um, choose which one you want on the top or the bottom, your, your direction, depending on, you know, how you orient it is going to go, you know, left to right or right to left. You can kind of play around with it until you decide how you want it to go. I'm going to do it the way I had it set up here. Let me fold this first. Now, tricky, tricky little ribbon. I'm going to take, this is the way I want it to go. They last forever, Jackie, but I did spring and get, I, you know, I still have the old blue ones that don't even have a drawer, but I did spring for this, this new white one because I love it. All right. So for those of you making, I decided I wanted the green on the bottom and I wanted to set it up just like this. So I'm going to flip it over to the back. Okay. Now I'm going to use my tape runner. I don't know what you're using for tape. But I'm using my tape runner because it is wide enough to straddle this. And I just want to connect them a little bit. Okay. The ribbon, because when I flip it over, um, the ribbon is going to cover this seam. And it's okay that the sticky is you know, exposed over here because I'm going to end up sticking it, flipping it over and stick, sticking it down, but that's going to hold it together for me. So now that I've got those two little edges together, I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive in the four corners and some more for good measure. And, and then add it here like this. No. Are you adding it? Don't add it. <laughs> now, <laughs> hopefully I caught myself before you all, before you added. Now we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to put it over the um, seam and flip it back over to this side. Okay. So, and we're going to take this last two glue dots and we're going to put them on the end of the ribbons. Now my ribbon shifted a little bit so I'm going to pick it up again and make sure that it's right because remember there's no sticky on the front so we're just gonna we want to line it up okay we're good I'm good lined up 
flip it over and then I'm going to push this over and it's not going to go across the middle part. That's fine. We just want it to, we just want it to hold across and now, and now it's, now it's on there. Now we can stick it. But if you've added all of your adhesive, like I have, you just be careful when you're sticking it because I have sticky all over the place. Now mine is popping up a little bit. My ribbon is popping up a little bit in the middle, but that's okay because we're going to add this circle here to right around here. Now the it has a white edge from the print and cut on the Cricut. So if that bothers you, then you can fussy cut around it or you can just leave it. When I have a white background card base, I don't mind these little white, um, these little white uh, edges on other embellishments because to me it kind of ties the look together. But I am gonna just fussy cut this off. And also, if you're afraid that your fussy cutting is, is you know, is going to mess it up and you'd rather just leave it as a circle. It's probably the night I should not be fussy cutting. I can't even. I'm not even on the screen. Where am I fussy cutting? All right. So that's going to go like that. And I am going to put three of these. I'm going to save the fourth for the last card, but I'm going to put three of these little dimensionals um, on here. And so that is going to kind of hold down your ribbon. And so I want it to be... Oh, they're supposed to have the messy green on them. Um, Marianne, see all these little red speckles on here? It's just part of the design. Um, they just have green speckles. Like this paper has the green speckles on it. It's just that that's what they have. They're the black, black leaves, but then they have green, like, spray paint, for lack of a better word. And so then we're just gonna group these on like this. And then you should have a little felt flower. Now, if your center little bling is off center, I, I actually um, pulled mine off and reattached it. But yours is smaller than this. I had just enough small ones um, to mail out. So I have, I'm using this, this bigger one, which is a little bigger than I feel like. Um, a little bigger than I would have liked, but so once you get those, how you want them, you can add your adhesive. And I guess I'm just going to add some adhesive to the bottom parts of them. And I'm kind of, uh, Lost, lost my other one for a second. All right. And I'm going to use, what am I going to use for this? I think I'm just going to use that. All right, now I only, I said I only put adhesive on the bottom parts because I think if you put it on the top and then you go to press it down, it could attach um, to, uh, you know, could attach to these and then it'll kind of look flattened out, which is, which is fine too. But that is how that looks. And then you can play with where you want to put this, but um, I'm going to put mine back down here at the bottom where I did for my sample.
and that is done. Oh, you know what? Because it's for you all, um, I actually take them and have them professionally printed. I do not print them at home. So that's definitely a, a laser, but it's a professional uh, print quality, Frida. Um, I, I take them down to the FedEx Kinko's on ISB. I mean, Johnny at Office Depot is my main man, but I do not feel like um, the, qual <coughs> the quality at Office Depot of color. Um, I mean, it's been a while since I've tried them. And like I said, I used to do a lot of business down at Office Depot on Bevel and um, love the, the guy that runs the copy center there. But I do um, take them down to FedEx Kinko's and have them done. And then I bring them home to my Cricut and the Cricut cuts them out. Some, I mean, this this kit, because I wanted to use this um, this paper, that is the direction I went. But as you know, those of you that have um, done um, card kits with me in the past, I have a hand stamp or, you know, I busted my, uh, my big shot, my Sizzix big shot uh, last month on the card kits on those darn butterflies. I had to pull out the Gemini. Um, so I kind of mix it up. Sometimes I use print and cut. Um, I kind of just like them to all have the same kind of feel the cards. So generally, whatever I do, I kind of stick with it. Like this month, it was kind of pretty much all print and cut. Well, actually, this the next the last one isn't. This is hand stamped and punched. Um, so no print and cut on this one. But like last month was all those intricate butterfly die cuts. Oh, no worries, Vicki. I'm glad you're here. You can you can join us on the last card and then you can go back at your leisure and, and watch from the beginning whenever you have time. All right, so I think we're ready for the last one. And I'll leave this one up here for now. The last little... Um, piece you can take off. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Remember I said that the top part of this, this one, life is good because you're in it. I thought you could send as a thank you or a happy birthday. So this little cut apart that I sent you, it matches the font here. So you could, um, so take some, you could chalk, you know, the inside if you want, um, or just, put it or just, or just not, and just send it as a happy birthday card or a thank you card. All right. So now we're just going to fold that base. And I was determined to use this paper. It was very hard for me, I must say. Um, I think I've said in the past, when it comes to designing these cards, I usually will get like a, a kit. In this case, it was this fresh focus paper pack and I thought, okay, this is what I'm using. So I feel like I'm like, I'm one of those cooking shows. Um, I have to give myself boundaries like that because it just helps me focus. And so I said, all right, we, I've got to find a way to use this <laughs> literally used the little edges of it. Um, so if you want to use it this way, you most certainly could. And, and this was, I, we have lots of our scrappy friends that are losing their beloved little fur friends. So, um, I just decided a little, a uh, card with a little paw print might be good so that we can send to our friends. Now, this is another fun little technique where we're just going to fold and we're going to, this is where our scissors come in finally. So we're going to fold back the scissors. And I left these words on here again, together, happy, love, laugh, um, memories, um, smile, because um, I thought it went well with the fur, fur card. A fur card? You know what I mean. Um, so what we're going to do is cut in um, and... However you determine the middle, you can either measure it. I'm just going to like 
I just pinched just so I could see the middle part. And now I'm going to cut about an inch in. I thought about doing this for you, but now I'm going to like test it a little bit and that's not enough. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go more. You have some wiggle room because you've got this big circle, right? So technically you cut all the way out to here and be okay. I think, I think that's going to be good. And then you're going to just fold and now I'm going to actually fold back because I don't want it to go beyond my original cut was probably good because I don't want it to go beyond. I don't want this little tail to come up beyond my circle. So I was correct in my first assessment. It's about an inch and a quarter. Thankfully, you can kind of play with it. And if you have to readjust your fold, um, it's not, it doesn't janky up your, your paper. So I should have gone with my first. It didn't look like it was enough, um, but it definitely is. So it's about an inch and a quarter. And again, you can kind of play with it, but you want to cover those two points with this circle. That is the, that is the goal. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And yeah, this is another little fun, um, fun fold um, with a double dipped paper, right? Now I can get a little bit on this tag. Um, now, just other things to do with this, if you're looking for ideas for like, um, a Father's Day card, you could do something like this, you know, but on the top and do like a little tie. That would be fun. Or it is like a cute little collar. You could do one for like a little girl's birthday and add some, add some little buttons um, and that kind of thing. So, all right, now it's time to pull it out, pull out our little ink and taco. And we're going to get, oh, thanks, Frida. It's a, it's a birthday, girl. Frida had a birthday this weekend. Everyone say happy birthday, Frida. And I, is Carol on here? Carol Kaywood? Carol Kaywood's birthday was this weekend. And another one of our Carol friends was also yesterday. So Frida and Carol, we got to get a picture of you two together. You little birthday twins. And Debbie and Barb are birthday twins too in September. And so we got a lot of little birthday twins. All right. So remember our violin. Now I am not a musical person. So I have no idea if this makes the sound lower or higher. Otherwise I would say I would. I would relate it to that. So if you're a musical person and you play the violin or the cello or any of those things, just let us know what happens to the sound when we go long or short. <laughs> All right. So after you get give that a nice chalking, we're going to add our adhesive on here. Get, that, get a good amount of adhesive on there so that it will keep all these flaps in check. And then we're going to add our last little dimensional right to the center of this card. And that is a wrap for that card. Oh, I, I need some adhesive up here. And some adhesive down here in the edge of my little my little wings all 
Yes, and Jacqueline, you were on a school field trip for years. So many May, ba end of May babies. Now I only know this because I have a son who's born on May 24th. This is probably TMI, but, um, you know, y'all were, were Labor Day. You were end of summer babies. So Labor Day, <laughs> Labor Day, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it was like April showers brings May flowers, except it's like Labor Day brings end of May Memorial Day babies. You got it. But yeah, lots and lots of birthdays. It's fun. All right. We did it. Anesthesiologist tried to try to keep me out of the game today. It's very rare that I have all up and down. Aw, it's so sweet. I love when other people, it you really, it really is Deborah from down under. Um, we have a really great scrappy, scrappy group here. And I love when other people notice that. So thank you. Yep. So we're done. That's it. And those of you that just hung out and watched, um, I appreciate you watching and sharing and you, um, um, hopefully you got some ideas. All right. Well, let me get my, uh, construction hat back on. Cause let me tell you, I know you guys have all seen me sans. You've seen me um, in a worse condition. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't mean worse condition. I don't know what I mean. But... Oh, wait. Okay, I'm back. Thanks, Lori. So, um, anyway, let's see who our winner is. I'm back. Those of you that didn't hear at the beginning, I last wore this in Minneapolis at a Creative Memories convention. And um, I, I, I wonder if Trish has hers. We were, we were getting to work. <laughs> yes, no, bad, you know, bad minor surgery day, Stacey. I, I, I it's oh, what I was going to say was if I were to go on without this and this, then that first preview on Facebook is scary, Tara. Let me just tell you. It's very, very scary. Oh, we miss you, Nancy, being down here. There's another one. We got New York here. Look at where we got all over the world here tonight. We got New York, Australia, Connecticut, California, Texas, Maryland. We're just a menagerie of scrappy ladies all over the world. Yeah, the thumbnails. You can't trust Facebook, what they're going to put up. I would much rather be scrolling through and see this than see what's under this right now. Okay, we have to pick a winner. Who's going to win $10 off your next order? And can I do this without... Losing everyone. All right. Here we go. Round and round and round it goes. Let's see who our lucky winner is. One of the birthday girls. Congratulations, Jacqueline. I think you won recently. Because I feel like I maybe last week. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I just took one off your order. So congratulations, Jacqueline. Thank you for being on. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. If you missed the beginning, there were lots of announcements, and they are very important, like emails that you, you might have missed. 
Um, if you're going to the retreat to the lake, I emailed yesterday. I'm going to email again tonight. There's only seven bullet points. Make sure you read them all. There's uh, crystal I use. Uh, I created a logo that says squeeze the day because it's an orange theme and she made um, awesome glitter cups. Um, also, you need to pick which border punches you want me to bring. And don't forget about secret boxes. So order by tonight at 10 at Daytona Aries Uh Scroll ahead to June. Go down to the 14th. That's what I'll be teaching a class. It'll be on Zoom with the stuff from the secret box. So you get free class plus you get free shipping. Make sure you do it by 10 p.m. tonight. Why? Because I need to get those ordered. Um, I'm having the ones that people order that are going to the retreat go directly to Lakeland. I got permission to have them shipped directly to Lakeland. But next week, I'm off to Minneapolis for Creative Memories Convention. So things are hopping as usual. So thank you all so very much for being on tonight. And um, until I see you all again, you know what to do. Stay scrappy, my friends. Bye-bye.